In the United Kingdom, the way they look at the regulated utilities is it's not volume metric. Um, that is not how they receive their revenue for the investments they make in the grid. It's based on performance metrics and how they're performing to their peers and how they're performing to themselves in the past. So that is generally, and I'm speaking very broadly here because uh, um, I, I did a graduate school in, in England, but I didn't pay attention to my electricity bill at all. So um, I don't know the, the system that well. But that to me seems like a better model. I mean, if you think about, <clears throat> if. Uh, I'm going to take out my disrupting device right now and, and, re and read this thing right here that I, I saved. Um, so we'll, we'll take this. This is um, uh, from a 10K filed in 1993, and I'll let the audience guess on Twitter the, um, who, who, who wrote this. Wireless portable telephone services allowing customers to make and receive telephone calls and parentheses mine read on a stage randomly um, this text. Um, make and receive telephone calls from any location, compete with services can currently offered by the company and could result in revenue, lost revenues. So go ahead and have at it. Twitter, I won't say who that was. It was a 10K filing in 1993. Um, from a 10K filing in 2012. Distributed generation and storage, a viable, cost-effective alternative to utility bundled electric service through which customers could bypass its distribution and transmission system may result in loss of customer growth. There's no question that, uh, and that's uh, Pacific Gas and Electric, uh, their 2012 10K filing. There's no question that there's going to be a result in some sort of loss of revenue.